Rachel, we're going to test your psychic powers now. Right, okay. How are they? Mm. All right, uh, wow. Well, <laughs> <laughs> ready to go. Uh, no, I don't have many psychic powers. You don't have many powers. Okay, yeah. well, we're going to test that because um, I'm hoping you have at least some. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've got a little um, combination lock here, um, and it's got the numbers from one to eight, but they, weirdly they run vertically. So you've got one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Right, Don't okay. know why that is. It's pretty okay. weird. Um, do you have a ring uh, that I could borrow just for a moment? I do. Excellent. I'm going to keep it very safe. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. I'm going to lock it on here, and then that's going to give you an incentive uh, to test your psychic <laughs> powers. To stay put. Especially, yeah. Stay till the end of the trick. <laughs> or it's a fashion <laughs> thing now. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, and also, um, I've just forgotten the combination. So you're going to have to make it work. All oh, right. It'll be okay. fine. It'll be fine. Okay. We'll leave this here. Um, but all the choices for the combination are going to come from you. So your intuition needs to be spot on. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. So uh, pressure. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to test that out, what I've got is a bunch of cards. These are actually from a kid's card game, but they've all got um, digits on. Okay, oh, so I'm going to show you, oh, I'm going to show you them, but I'm then going to mix them up in case you've memorised where they are or okay. anything like that. Okay. okay, so I'm going to mix them up a little bit like this. And the idea is we're going to use these, we're going to use like a process of elimination to get down to four digits. I remember it's a four digit combination we need. For okay. So if I give you those, uh, could you deal them into just two piles as if we were playing cards? Face down? Yeah, yeah, just face down, just into two packets. That's perfect. Excellent stuff. And like I say, we're going to do a process of elimination and we can eliminate either the pile with the highest number or we can eliminate the pile with the lowest number. And that decision is totally on you. Right, highest or lowest. Uh, elim eliminate the high ones. Are you absolutely sure? Do you want to change your mind? Yeah, no, let's go low because I like being high. So let's get rid of the low ones. <laughs> you want to get rid of the pile with the lowest numbers? Yes. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up these two packets and I'm going to show them to you. I'm not going to look at them. Okay. And I want you to just tell me which one has the lowest number because that's the one that's gone. That's the lowest one. This is the lowest one. Yes. So these are gone. Yes. Boom, in the bin. There we go, sorted. Um, so we've got uh, five cards left. We don't need all five. So I'll tell you what, give them a shuffle first of all. Give them a good mix around. Okay. And then we're going to go through a little process that will eliminate another one. Again, beyond my control and yours as well. Right. Just trusting sheer uh, luck and intuition. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is do um, like a he loves me, he loves me not thing. You're going to oh, do one okay. under, one down, one under, one down, and so on until there's only one card left. Right, okay. Okay? Yep. So I'll give you those, and then just take the top one, slip it underneath. He loves me. And then one down, that's it. <laughs> and the last one is gone. So that's the last one. Right. We're not even going to look at it. It's gone. Okay. So these are the numbers that you've got left, and these are going to make a combination. Right. Okay, so let's okay. see what you've got. You've got a three, a four, an eight, and a two. Okay, so if I hold that, would you press in the three? First of all, the three. Three. And then the four. Four. Is it? And then the eight. Eight. And then the two. two. Perfect. So, what? here's the dramatic reveal. There's the little lever. Flick the little lever. If it pops open. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, it hasn't worked. Well, it wouldn't work, would it? What were the chances? Yeah. My no, ring. I think, don't worry, don't worry. It's definitely um, not opening, but I think I know why. Okay. I think you've got the right numbers. But the wrong order. Wrong order. Classic. So far, we haven't used your intuition. We've done it all randomly, really. So this is where we need your input. Ooh. So if I leave it here, what do you think the first digit would be? What are you drawn to? Uh, uh, two. The two. Yes. Try it. Press the two. Two. Excellent. Oh yeah. Sorry, you'll have to pick it up because the buttons push through to the back. Oh. What do you think is next? Three. The three. Go for it. And then? Four. Then the two, three, four? Yeah. yeah. And then the eight. Eight. Okay, and then you know what to do. Try the little lever. Uh -huh. Click. There you go. What were the Yay. chances of that? We don't know enough maths to tell you the actual chances, but unlikely.